I've finally had my first true next-gen experience on the Xbox Series X. So as you can tell, game 93 out of 400 is Forza Horizon 5. In one of my last video, I asked everyone to comment what the best looking and feeling game on the next-gen console was. And even though for some reason there were a ton of comments for the GOAT simulator, Forza did end up taking the win. Now I'm basically a novice when it comes to racing games, but Forza does an incredible job bringing you into this world and getting you hyped for the game. The intro has you driving a ton of different cars on just about every terrain you can think of. And and in all honesty, I caught myself several times saying out loud, holy sh this game looks incredible. So yes, the graphics, visuals, and performance on this title are truly next gen. And it's a perfect title to experience on the big screen with a nice sound setup. But I was also surprised at how enjoyable and relaxing it was to play with cloud gaming. Now I know you can really dive into this title and crank up that difficulty to make it as realistic as possible. So if you're more of a car junkie than I am, I know you could spend hours tuning and testing out new kits. But I do really enjoy winning and I'm not the greatest racer, so I left everything on a decently easy mode. Now I really only have two gripes with this game. The first one is really minor, and then that second one was more of a punch in the gut being a long time Xbox fan. So to start off with the smaller one, it's the avatar or characters. Compared to the open world and the cars, they just look extremely goofy and out of place. And for some reason, the game constantly wants to show them off. I really feel like the game should try to focus solely on the cars and not so much the characters inside. And this feeling could have been intensified by the fact that I accidentally gave my character a woman's voice. I was doing my best not to think about it. <laughs> and that was really throwing me for a loop for the first few hours of gameplay. Now, the second complaint is the fact that I ran into a few paywalls when trying to access certain areas and races and i just feel like this being a first party title on a first party subscription and on a first party console it should really include the entire game i mean i can understand paying for skins and cosmetic items but it just made me feel like it wasn't that good of a first party experience and on top of that if the whole reason i was purchasing game pass happened to be solely for forza i'd be pretty disappointed but nevertheless i can't deny that this is a pretty dang incredible title and i'm sure if you're a racing or car fan then all these games are easily a 9 or 10 but unfortunately in the real world i could care less about cars i actually just drive a hatchback but either way it's still getting a solid 8 out of 10 thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one for game 94.